Every month, Unreal Engine releases a free asset to their online marketplace. And since we're a virtual production studio, we're obviously gonna download it. Our team has taken on the challenge that whatever the asset is, we're gonna find something cool to do with it. That's not only to keep our skills sharp as filmmakers, but also show off what the wall can do. And this month's free asset is the Opera House. Stick around to the end of the video to see the final product. But first, let us explain what virtual production is. Virtual production is essentially the linking of a physical camera to a digital camera that's in Unreal Engine. And then through either green screen compositing or high resolution LED panels like we have here at Straight Vista, we can show what the camera in there is seeing and it's connected to what the camera out here is seeing so that the perspectives match up because both cameras are linked. So this is the world we ended up downloading from, from the marketplace as free asset. For the story's sake, I had to build another room on top of this. I added, you know, the rooms, some trees, to give the effect of realism. The idea is simple. A musician begins playing the piano in a humble practice room that sends him into sort of a dream state. As the camera circles around him, his imagination takes him into a grand opera house a vision that he's hoping to one day bring to life. This was decided to be done as a warner to help show the possibilities of virtual production. Here at Stray Vista, we wanna offer our clients the ability to hide this metal seam you're seeing on the floor right there. That's great for some projects and for others it's not. So for our current project, it is perfect for us to start building that stage so that you have a seamless fall off from reality into the virtual. So our team right now is busy building that stage that's perfect for this project. And now we can offer that to all of our clients. With less than a week to pull this project off, the team got to work by constructing over 20 six inch tall platforms that can be arranged in any position based on your project's needs. The day before the shoot, Nate, our director this month, got together with David, his DP, for a quick pre-production conversation as Ace optimized the scene in Unreal Engine. It's production day, and we have yet to introduce you to the star of this month's short film. This is Michael. Michael is a classically trained pianist who performs nightly in downtown Austin. Michael agreed to hop in and participate in this story and brought an original song to showcase. With the help of a number of different roles all coming together, we rehearsed a few times, nailed down our timing, and got it all in one take. Here is the final product.
asking you a few questions now. First of all, are you proud of the finished product? Yeah, I think for what we had to work with, with the, obviously we challenged ourselves with the one Unreal Engine environment of the month, and then you know having less than a week to prepare. Right. I think it, it turned out pretty good. Yeah. Is there anything that now watching it back that you were like, okay, if we had more time, I would do this totally different? Reflections in the piano were a bit tough. We got rid of most of them in color, but there were a couple areas where we could have done some tedious rotoscoping, but for this, it wasn't worth it. But for, you know, for what it was, I think it turned out good. I would have had that shot at the end where the girlfriend comes in and sits down next to him. I think I would have done that wide shot in the, the office, in the practice room, mm. rather than in the opera house. And then as the opera house came up, I think instead of all of it coming up all at once, I would have had the opera house environment come up and then just the lights turn on. But other than that, I think the, the piece turned out super well. Michael was phenomenal. Originally we were going to do Claire de Lune and he came in and, and offered to, to give us an original song that he wrote, so that turned out great. And then hmm. the Steadicam Wonder, uh, originally we were planning yeah. on doing it you know, in a bunch of different shots. I think it was a challenge, like this whole project was. And then storytelling purpose, I think it, it means more to see the transition happen without any cutting. Mm -hmm. and, and what this, this wall can do, what this volume can do um, by taking you from one location to another one. You know, we say you can do it in the snap of a finger and we just proved you can. We did it in, in the same exact shot, so. We are planning on doing this every single month with the free asset of the month, the Unreal releases. So if you want to see more of this behind the scenes, making of, make sure to subscribe, follow along. Also on our social media, because we post a lot of announcements there, a lot of our recent work or projects that we've been working on. So those are two places to find us.